All right, the commanders picked up defensive lineman Stephen Charles. He's six foot five, 300 pounds, but hasn't played pro ball since 2016. And he joins the team right before they play four straight away games. Jake Kaberski has more. You know, our secondary came out uh, this week with, with something to prove. That leaves a bad taste in your mouth. It was back to work for the San Antonio Commanders Wednesday, and the message was clear. Get back in the wind column. But SA will have to right the ship on the road, taking on the fleet in San Diego on Sunday. It's the first of four straight road games for the team. This is going to be interesting. Uh, it, it, it's not easy. Um, we are all creatures of habit. We like our routine, and, and we're going to have a different routine. I guess the good part of that, right, you'll have that same routine for four weeks. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this team responds. The challenge will be facing the fleet for the second time in only three weeks. The commanders won the first meeting 15-6 to six, with the defense getting six sacks and three interceptions. We know them. They know us. So uh, we just got to, you know, come up with a uh, game plan and, and execute it. Well, the commanders already had a really good defensive line, but this week they got some more help. Stephon Charles, a five-year NFL vet, is now on the roster, ready to make the commander's defense even stronger. We just felt it was time now as we see what, what some of the teams are doing. The running game is becoming important in this league. We wanted to get a little bit bigger up front, and uh, I, think, I think we achieved that with Stephon. Charles will provide skill and depth in the trenches, but perhaps more importantly, leadership to a team entering a crucial stretch. He can bring a lot to that defensive line and, you know, to this whole team. You know, he's been through it, um, you know, had had, a, had great success in the NFL, so just excited to have him on the team. Jacob Bursky, KSAT 12 Sports. And San Diego will host the Commanders Sunday night at 7. Both teams are 1-1. One